Oh, hey guys, um, welcome back to part 73, um, okay, so the reconstruction time, the timeline, okay, so I'm gonna be reading on that one, so this was made for U.S. history class, um, the thing I'm having for supper is actually pizza, um, oh, I forgot to tell you today, um, when I was in U.S. history class, I had my phone out, but I thought I had it with me. Um, it was the last period of the class, um, okay, so, uh, okay, so, uh, um, when I had my phone out, I thought I had it, I thought I had it to my hoodie in my jacket or my, or my, or my pockets in my pants, but I clearly wasn't sure if I had it or not because I was panicking and I was like, I was like, oh no. What? Sorry guys, I thought she was talking to me, but... Yeah, I got so mad earlier. We went to the school and we went to the main entrance. Um, and I left in Mr. Coon's class and I got so mad. I was so, I was panicking. I was like panicking, like I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? Because my phone's not in that class anymore. I was like, I was so worried that I'm, that I may not get it. I was like so worried that I may not get it in time. Because many people have accidents all the time and everybody hates it. Um, but the only thing we have to do is just wait until tomorrow to like get it back. It's the reconstruction time, you know, like... We have to wait until tomorrow, and it's, it's possibly turned into Devine's office. Like, it's not going to be stolen or anything. Like, I used to think it was stolen, but I, 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 I thought I had it in my pockets. I, was, I wasn't sure if I had it in my pockets or not. Just letting you know, guys, like, my phone has a red case. Uh, uh, the janitor said that there's no phone here, and it was like, I was, like, so confused. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get tomorrow. Um, I'll be uploading more videos on my laptop, which my U.S. history video um, that I did will be uploaded tomorrow, actually, because um, because my video that I was tr that I was still working on, but uh, I had to edit more tomorrow. So yeah, it it probably won't be probably will be around until. Till, till tomorrow, the 30th. I got a little Caesar's pizza. Uh, if I can't find my phone, then I don't know what to do. Cause my, it's my video. And I, and I can't let my phone be taken away for some darn reason. I don't know if somebody stole it, or I don't know if somebody, I don't know if somebody, I don't know if my teacher, I think, I think my teacher turned in, I think my teacher turned the, my phone in to the deans, so hopefully my the deans will be pr pretty happy that I never left some, this never happened in my high school before, like, like a, like a, I was, um, well, Mr. Kuhn was gone, um, uh, I think I sent my phone somewhere else, but I'm not sure where I left it, but I was completely losing up in mind. I did not know what to do, honestly. With one partner, other partner, create a reconstruction timeline. If you want to work by yourself, that is fine too. The timeline will be needed to be in chronological order to starting with the earliest date and finishing the latest date. The dates will be between 1865 and 1877. You can create this timeline using multimedia tools such as Google Slides, PowerPoint, and Prizi, or even in podcasts. I have had students create a timeline using Minecraft before. If you are able and want to do that, go for it. If you want to create, if you want to create a physical timeline, Using large, large sheet of paper, I have that available too. 
you need to put 12 dates in a chronological order and with a paragraph 5 through 7 sentences. Significance above a date include prior events that led to the timeline that in the future effect it had on people. For example, if I am doing the emancipation proclamation, I might say something like this. January 1863, the emancipation proclamation essentially says slavery is over. However, this only was put into place for, for the states and confederacy. Not the four million slaves and border states that remain in Union. Um, even though, like, Lincoln personally opposed slavery, he thought the federal government wasn't responsible for ending slavery. Just like, um, that I thought that I left my phone in the middle of class, but... But it's a but it but it is the current last class, my four B teacher, my it's like my eight period teacher going on, it's like my six or seven or eight period going on, um, it's not that big of a deal. The my teacher probably turned it in, like I said, like uh, he probably found it, he probably turned it in. He didn't care what it looked like, he just turned it in. What a nice guy, Mr. Coons, my man. Even though I'm not calling it off because I'm still mad about that today, it's my it's, it's kind of my it's kind of like my worst it's kind of like my worst day today, but the but the after, but the earlier is, is fine. My mom was driving me crazy today. I don't know why, but she was she was driving me crazy because I should, I couldn't get up. He even said the the Civil War was first fought over states' rights, not slavery. Only after the emancipation proclamation did his mind change. This proclamation set the basis for the Thirteenth Amendment. Side note: Lincoln's or original plan was just to send the freed slaves back to Africa on boats. Events he must put on his timeline. I'm gonna check on its learning and see, um, and see if I got a reply from Mr. Kuhn yet. Uh, he's probably home, but I'm gonna show you what I said. Mr. Kuhn. I left my, I believe I left my phone in your class. Should I get it tomorrow or what? My answer is probably tomorrow because I was probably right. When I first got home, I thought my phone was in me, but I clearly was shocked. I cannot believe it that my phone was actually left in class for the first longest time ever. This has never happened to me before. Like, come on, dude. Like, this has never happened to me before. Like, this high school. I have not lost my phone for a long time. I was very aware of what I've done. I don't believe I got it. Okay, so... Alright, Memphis Race Riot. 13th Amendment. 40 Acres in a Mule. The KKK. The Redeemers. United States versus Cruikshank, Civil Rights of Act in 1875, the New Orleans Rights, the Colfax Massacre, Free Men's Burial, the 14th Amendment, Black Codes. Let's look at the packet recently. Life in the 1950s stations. Directions. Each of these stations are here to help you give a quick glimpse into the life of Americans during the 1950s. How is the country changing for the better? Was it changing for the worse? How did the Great Depression and WWI I, 
or World War II affect Americans in their spending habits? At each, at each station, you and your partner will have a specific task to complete. Please read, please read all of the instructions carefully. Take turns reading with your partner. One partner should not be doing all the work. Cooperate. Work together. You may use your phones to serve QR codes. Station 1. The Baby Boom. Use your phone and scan the QR code. Watch the video and record your facts in a space below. Record five facts for the video about the baby boom from the 1950s. Station 2. A healthier nation. Use your phone to scan the QR code. Watch the video and answer questions below. Who created the miracle of last vaccine? Which disease did he successfully prevent? According to Professor Eckhart, besides being important for the public health, why else was this uh, vaccine important? Be specific, be specific and thorough. Hint, what did it remove? Dr. Salk profited greatly through the scale of the vaccine. Uh, circle one, true or false? It's like you're getting like a, it's, it's like you're getting tested for a vaccine. Station three. Native American re Realization Termination. Use a primary source, quote, to answer questions for one to two. According to the quote, how soon did the United States government want to Native Americans to be under the same laws and right and as other American citizens? Under this re resolution, when Native Americans get more fewer or the same rights as all American citizens? Scan the QR code and answer all the questions below using this website. What did the government call their plan to eradicate or remove Native Americans, tribes, or tribes from North America? Name the first two tribes to be terminated. Why are these two tribes specifically chosen? For 1953 and 1954, how many acres of land were removed from Native Americans? How many people lost their tribal lands? Reread the introduction paragraphs on the station. Do you think Native Americans did while moving to the cities or wherever they lived rulers than then, then when, 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 when they lived on reservations? What do you think of this? Station 4. Interstate highways. Why was it difficult to construct highways in the United States before 1956? Less two and three reasons why. What did the Interstate Highway Act authorize? What graph shows transportation trains in the 1930s? In, in 1930, they were significantly more truck and tractor drivers, including bus drivers and taxi cab drivers and chauffeurs. Then in 1960, what does this significant change say about the changes in the transportation trends? Huh? I was going to tell you to add, I'm going to go into school with you in the morning when you walk in. And okay. if it's okay, so that I know, because I want to know if you, if you got, if the dean has it too. Because if not, hopefully they do. Hopefully they do that, because I, I don't want to sit there and worry all day. Like, did he find it? I wonder if he found it. I wonder if he found it. That's gonna stress me out too. But um, and then if they, if for whatever, if for whatever reason it's not there, then I'll just go on to Walmart and get a phone. Hopefully it'll be there hopefully because it will, I don't want to have. I know you don't want to get another phone. I don't want to get another phone just yet. Uh, but I'm going to go in with you in the morning just to see for myself because I want to know too if you got it. I remember leaving it in school. Okay. Well, then it, then I hope, then it's, uh, then we'll let, like we said, hopefully they turn it into the dean. Hopefully they didn't steal it. Yeah. And hopefully nobody stole it. Yeah. Okay. It has that red case. Yeah. Which, yes. which is, which, which has that, which has that picture of mine. Yeah. Well, both of you, you tell them that when you go in the morning. I'll go in with you. All right. All right. I love you. I know. I know. I love you. Sorry. Yeah, just like that. Um, transportation trends. Um, hint. 
How did driving and tra transportation change? Okay, so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get it. I don't want to get another phone just yet. I had my iPhone 6s for about a year. Well, not about a year, but I had my iPhone. I had my iPhone 6s for for since December of 2019, and I got it for a year now. And uh, I don't want to get another phone just yet because. It's been a year since I had that phone, and I don't want to get another phone just yet, so, yeah. Station 5, Suburbs. What is suburban, Sprawl? Write it in your own words. Which group of people tended to move out of the cities and into suburbs? What was this migration known as? What? I'm not as crazy as Mr. Britton, but... He's gay. I fucking hate him. He looks creepy as hell. Yeah, I'm still going to be cussing for a while because Mr. Burton pisses me off in the hallways. Alright, let's not talk about him. Okay, I don't want to be the pain of the ass and talks about him all the time. I don't want to be that person, but I'm going to have to because I'm not that person to get mad at each other, but that's okay. I can deal with it pretty well. Unity and Division Comparison Table Directions 1. Go to your Discovery Tech Book. 2. In Chapter 2, Reconstruction, click on Concept 2.1 Unit and Division. 3. In the section, click on the Explorer tab. Once you are Explorer, go to page 2, link on a plan. Use pages 2 out of 4 to fill out the table below. You do not have to use full sentences, but you must be in your own words. Please be for real and don't rush. Be specific about your details. Jesus. Strateria, Lincoln, Johnson, and Congress. Read mission into the Union. Views on the Freeman's Burrio. Views on the Civil Rights of American Americans. African Americans, sorry. Citizenship for free to African Americans. Views on the military rule after the Civil War. Views on voting rights for free to African Americans. Pardon me. I need to I need to let go of my bad day because I don't want to. I don't want to get my video monetized. Like, well, even though that I'm, you know. Even though that I, I don't care if I cuss, but, but it's mandatory that I shouldn't cuss. But I'll try not to cuss, but it's just, I, I, I can't help it. I mean, I'm trying not to, but it's, but it's really, I can't do it, honestly. Alright, one more. Copy of the Coming to American Stations worksheet. Coming to American Stations. Directions. Each of these stations are here to help you give a glimpse into the life of immigrants in the United States during the Industrial Revolution. At each station, you will have a specific task to complete. Please read all the instructions carefully. You may use your phone for QR codes. Ellis Island versus Angel Island. Um, I forgot to tell you that I did gymnastics at my school. Um, I did gymnastics with people watching. And I tried to do a, I, I tried to do a cartwheel and I end up breaking my leg. I don't know if that's a break. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's really but it really when I did a cartwheel on my right leg, it really, really hurts. I cannot do anymore. My leg was hurting so badly. But I cannot do anymore. I have a bad leg. Take a picture of the QR code with your phone. 
read through the information about Ellis Island and Angel Island. Once you are finished, then fill in the table below to compare and contrast the information on your page. Ellis Island only, same, Angel Island only. Immigration data. Answer your questions below based on the immigration data table on the station sign. From 1881 to 1890, which country had the most immigrants to come to the United States? During which decade did Italy have the most immigrants come to the United States? Which decade had the highest number of immigrants? Hint, you'll have to do some math here you can use your phone to add. Which country had the least number of total immigrants to come to the United States? Hint, you'll do some math here. You can use your phone to add. Ethnic enclaves. From the reading, define the word enclave. After reading the excerpt for your discovery book, list three five ways that ethnic groups that came to the United States created a sense of community. Living conditions. Based on the reading, what do you think the tenement of the same as? Analyze, look, at then pictures and quotes about tenement will living. Based on these private primary pictures, uh, what do you think life in tenement was like? List 2.3 characteristics of what tenement life seemed to be like. Working conditions. You will need headphones for the station. Write a brief description of what working conditions for immigrants and everyone else actually were like during the Industrial Revolution. Please write four, per, four plus full sentences. After watching the video, what safety changes were created because of a tragic triangle shirt waist theft or fire less than below? The Chinese Exclusion Act. Read through the newspaper clipping for a Dilla and Tribune and answer the questions below. A. The Chinese Exclusion Act was signed into law on May 6, 1982 by President Ch Chester Arthur. According to the newspaper excerpt, Chinese immigrants were allowed to come to the United States for how many days after the act was signed? How would Chinese immigrants be punished if they were caught in the United States after the 90-day grace period list of punishments? Wrap up. Imagine that you are an immigrant that comes to the United States during the Industrial Revolution. It can be for any country, any age, having the occupation, using your new knowledge what life is for like for immigrants during this time. On the back of this page, you will need to write a letter home and describe to your family what it's like for you in the United States. Your, your letter will need to be at least two paragraphs long and have four or more sentences per paragraph. Be sure to include information for each station. What your home is like, what Ellis is, Ellis or Angel Island looks like. What country you came from, if you came with anyone, with what is your job and working conditions, what are like. If you like live with lovers in a enclave or not, you can be one of those parts too. Or if you're brothers or something, that could be it. Or it can be sisters. Alright, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys have any questions about my uh, U.S. history teacher, let me know. If you guys have, or should I say, if you have any questions for Mr. Coons, let him know and get send a message for it. Sorry. I know most of you guys know that, but I'm I'm here to tell you because I, I just want I just want to do it for fun. Okay, so um, let me know if you have any questions, or if you if, if you have questions about my if you are in my class, um, if you're in Mr. Coon's class, you can ask him the question about this sheet. But most of you guys have questions about this sheet too. If you if you guys are new, you can ask me a question. I knew, I I can get help. I can help you a lot. So yeah. All right. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys at. Part fit some some seventy four.